stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new frame and it's called the Amax X210. And I think this is kind of in the middle of a Martian and then really you see X210 which is basically a QAVR210 and an alien. So it's kind of there in the middle. It doesn't have that full body and it doesn't have that small tiny body. So it's right there in the middle kind of like the Martian 3 um, in a way but possibly a tiny bit longer. Now, so far from looking at it, the carbon quality looks pretty good. Um, I really do like it. It seems like it's the same kind of quality as the Transtech Frogs. So I, re I really do like that. It does have that nice shine and that nice sturdiness to it. So it's very good. Um, when putting it together, I was actually afraid, you know, seeing that there's only two screws to hold the arm in place. However, what I did like is the way that they've set up their self-locking nuts here. They already come pre-assembled on the bottom plate and the upper bottom plate. And um, one goes in the other way and the other, one, the other one goes the other way. So it's very good. And uh, once I put it together, it's actually very solid. So I'm very pleased with that. Now let's talk about mounting the battery. Battery, I think it can be used top mount, but I think it's more likely a bottom mount. However, you don't even get cut out. So you're just gonna have to slide your battery strap through uh, the bottom of the flight controller or PDB or whatever and then just have it go straight down as you can see here we have no solutions all right so now let's talk dimensions uh, the upper plate here is actually two millimeters which is very good it's rarely you get two millimeters sometimes you get 1.5 uh, most of the time I've seen 1.5 millimeters so to see two millimeters is very good and um, the amount of spacing between these standoffs makes it for makes it very rigid which is very good it might have some flex but um, it seems like it's gonna hold very well uh, so that's a big plus and um, the camera mounts here are also two millimeters which is uh, pretty good also that's, that's, that's very good of them now let's talk about the bottom plates here now the bottom bottom plate here is actually two millimeters and the bottom upper plate is actually 1.5 millimeters and the arms are full four millimeters so that's very good so overall I mean it's pretty nice uh, let's actually just see its weight and uh, I really want to build this guy very soon and I think this is the guy that I'm gonna build hmm or I might just give this one away I don't know just yet because I have two other frames so let's just currently check its weight here all right zero out the scale oh wow they're stating 88, 89. I got 88. That's awesome. Let's just double check it. <laughs> it even dropped. So actually, they're, what they're stating, it's actually less than what they're stating. So this thing is between, it's on the 87 point something in the highs. So we can call it 88. So that's very, very good. Um, I'm very happy and excited, I must say, to be honest. It seems good. It seems strong. And uh, it gave me a nice fat splinter when I was putting it together uh, that I, I, I can't I still couldn't I'm not able to get it out so um, I think it's just gonna be in there for an eternity so yeah but um other than the splinter everything aligned perfect uh, these screws that they used are very good they're very solid uh, they didn't strip when I was tightening them super hard especially on the arms here usually you know cheap screws or cheap uh, frames do that tend to do that sometimes this one didn't they're using pretty good screws so that says something good and let's see well mounting holes you got everything you need you have a couple holes if you want to take your uh, receivers antennas through here you have a uh, SMA or RPSMA port here if you wanted to stick it through camera mounting solution just a basic one guy so I mean one hole so that should be pretty good in that perspective and um, there's really nothing else I mean for GoPro mounting solution you're gonna have to bring your own and kind of get creative so alright so overall it's a pretty light quad 
and um, it's what it's only thirty three dollars so that's actually a very good price I think uh, for one of these uh, which is it's, it's very good now however I'm, I, I did order the Martian 3 and I'm waiting for that to come in and we can see if we could justify that ten dollars extra but overall I, I see it very well made um, especially the hardware you know sometimes what really pisses me off is cheap hardware with frames and really AC tend to do that sometimes uh, especially with the latest budget build I kind of replaced a couple of them because I stripped them and um, yeah so I like when companies send out good hardware with their frames because uh, you're gonna need to tighten these guys and you don't want it to strip so overall I mean it's a pretty nice quad um, looks pretty it looks like it could take a hit but I mean I really can't say much until I get it built and then we take it out for a flight but if you were curious here it is uh, with its glory it's pretty sexy I must say uh, nothing too crazy and nothing just ugly it's just like hmm it's alright I'll take it I mean it's a good price too so um, and it feels sturdy so it seems like it can take a hit but like I said it's still too early for me to say anything and if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And if anyone's used it, just let us know down in the comment section. I'm curious, and I'm sure others will be also. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you next time. See you guys. Take care.